good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another showcase video the series where i showcase either my fashion streetwear sneaker sometimes even jewelry collection on the channel now in today's video i'm going to be showcasing my capital collection as of the 19th of june 2022 but before i start covering my capital collection guys I've just got to quickly do something else. What I've got to do is thank you guys for the continuous support that you have given me on the channel. As over the past couple of uploads, I asked if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,370 subs. And we were so close for so long. We were at 3369, nice. And we were there for like three days and we kept losing a sub, gaining a sub. And I was like, come on, man, we're so close. <laughs> and then Rosie made the comment, Daniel, your hair's getting a bit too long. You need to shave it again. And who knows? Maybe if you shave it, you might get that extra sub. I had that plan to shave it anyway, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. So I shaved my head, checked on Saturday morning. And what do you know, you guys came through <laughs> and didn't just give me one sub, you gave me three. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys. We did it. We hit 3370 thanks to the public and the private subscribers supporting the channel. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I'm super happy that we hit the new milestone and I wanted to thank you guys for it. Now, I am going to set a new subscriber milestone in this video of 3,375 subscribers. Once we hit that milestone, I'll update the little subscriber badge that we've got here as it's a you know new milestone every 25. Uh, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3,375 before the end of June. Okay, should probably start talking about this collection. So this video was actually inspired by a comment left by one of you guys in the comment section below. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, Luca T9 put in the comment section, great video as always, would love to see a video about your capital undercover collection. And absolutely, I will be doing one on my undercover collection. There just might be a little bit, a little bit of something in the mail on, on its way. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to do a collection video for that when I'm adding to that collection. So the undercover one will be on its way, Luca. Don't worry, it will be coming soon. But I haven't got a new capital piece on the way, so I thought I would do that one. So yeah, just wanted to say thank you for leaving the comment, Luca. I will definitely be doing the other videos that you asked for in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, so in today's video, I'll be doing exactly as the title suggests. I'll be showcasing to you my collection. It's not the biggest collection. Uh, I haven't bought Capital in a while. Not because, you know, I think the brands fell off or anything like that. It's just that, you know, it costs a bit of money. The loopholes I have to go through to get it imported from Japan. It's just a bit of an effort. And the opportunity cost if I buy a Capital piece means that I'll probably miss out on like an undercover piece that I want or maybe a piece of chrome hearts, you know? So yeah, it's just that, um, yeah, I, I, like I will. Definitely in the future, I will be copying more of it for sure. But uh, yeah, I'll be showcasing it to you uh, on my bed to start off with, just like a quick pan showcasing it to you there. And then I will dive into each individual piece because there's a lot of details that I want to showcase to you guys on these pieces. So uh, yeah, let's jump right in and start having a look at this collection so here is the collection guys it's not much but you know some nice pieces definitely some nice pieces here we've got two hoodies denim jacket kimono uh, cardigan i'd suppose i'd put it and then i mean i'm gonna call it a shacket you could call it a shirt could call it a jacket it's technically called a jacket on their website because uh it's modeled after the levi's type one denim jacket but it is made of cotton and bandanas quite obviously so yeah it depends on what you really use as a definition for a jacket but the silhouette is definitely a jacket for sure so yeah what i'll do is i'll grab each one of these pieces highlight them individually what i like about them uh, just anything i've really got to say about them uh, and yeah, of course, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them down in that comment section below though, guys. So let's kick it off. Let's start off with hoodie number one. Okay, this is, a, this is a gorgeous piece. It's really, really nice to wear. What we have is the 
bandana cross patch zip up hoodie i think it's called uh, it has a very very long name i unboxed it on the channel a while ago so you can definitely go suss it out that way but yeah essentially the front panel here cotton bandana pattern so not actual bandanas but bandana pattern um, patchwork as you can see it's got different types of bandanas because it's a capital country piece each bandana print from memory is different so uh, you won't find one like the other they're all individual patterns what we have is a YKK zip uh, up the top there and uh, the pattern continues down the sides of the arms as well uh, it's got four pockets it's got pockets in between where the back panel and the front panel meet along the side here as well as obviously two pockets near the zip area so kind of cool i like the extra pocket detail very japanese brand a lot of brands do that it's not very long it's quite a short piece in length and i really like it for that like it comes just down past my waist and it's a really really nice look one of the big deta details we've also got to mention is obviously the back as well as this back panel is this um this uh quilted uh, uh yeah it's qu uh, quilted material <laughs> well yeah you know like it's Oh, it, the texture, it's so soft. The colors are really nice. I'm not normally a zip up hoodie guy. This is the only zip up hoodie in my whole hoodie collection, right? But it, just the design and everything like that, it really spoke to me. Uh, there is a sweatshirt version of this as well, crewneck sweatshirt, so you can get a sweatshirt version of it. I do want to get that in uh, all the colors it's available in, and I want to get more colors of this hoodie as well. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, just a really, really awesome piece. Details are awesome. Would definitely recommend it. It's a really nice piece to pick up from their online store. Um, but when you go to boutiques, it's like ridiculous money because they just like mark it up heaps. But I would definitely recommend buying it from their online store if you can proxy. And I've showcased to that. Uh, I've showcased you uh, to you guys on the channel how to do that. But yeah, just all around an awesome piece. Love the colors. Love wearing it in summer and spring because it's, you know, you can open it up with the zip. It's really lightweight and it's really, yeah, it's just really, really nice. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on this hoodie and we'll move on to the second one. Now what we have here is the classic, the hoodie that everyone wanted for a while. <laughs> we have the smiley face hoodie. Uh, it's an awesome piece. The French terry cotton they use on this is lightweight, flowy, and really soft. It's really nice on the skin. I love the ribbing detail on the sides here. It just adds to it. And obviously, and I love the design on how the huge oversized drawstrings are, are used as part of the graphic on it. I think that's a sick way to approach this hoodie with its design. The only thing that I really dislike about it is the hood size. The hood size, I showcased it in the unboxing video, so go watch the unboxing video if you wanna see how bad it is it is like it makes me look like a nun it, it is so tight there is no room it's a really small hood and this is the biggest size this is a size five so it's not that i you know bought the wrong size and the hood's not big enough it literally is the biggest size available and the hoods are just super super small i don't know why they did it that way because the bandana print hoodie is fine you go watch the unboxing video of that the hood is massive well not massive but a good size uh, so I don't know what inspired them to do a really small hood on this. Um, the drawstrings actually do work as actual drawstrings as well. They're not just like an accessory that works with the design. Um, but the problem is that, yeah, like the hood is so small, it's like, what's the point of making it smaller? <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, no pockets though. You'll notice that with some capital pieces. It's very much kind of like a sh uh, hooded shirt in a way. No pockets. So... That may be a turnoff for some of you guys with this piece. But uh, yeah, I think it's awesome. Really, really comfy. As I was saying, the cotton on it is bonkers. But yeah, that is piece number two, guys. The Smile Hoodie. Uh, we'll move on now to piece number three. Moving into piece number three, we have the Feather denim jacket uh third denim jacket because it's based on the levi's type 3 denim jacket uh, as we can see it features that iconic indigo blue that the japanese denim is known for with this amazing 
amazing feather design in it. It's not a print, it's actually part of the fabric itself. Like you can see when you get up and close to it, whatever loom they used, they put the design into it. So it's just, it's just crazy. And to add to that, to make it look like it's actually made of feathers, towards the bottom near the waist area, it's been completely frayed on purpose to give it that look. Um, this is a size four, and my only complaint is, is that the shoulder width Oh my god. I mean, that's the whole thing with Japanese uh, brands and Japanese clothing in general is that the shoulder width's really tight. But this is the biggest size, the size 4, and the shoulder width is only 48 centimeters. So it is tight. Unfortunately, I cannot wear this over the top of a hoodie because the layers just get like super tight and like yeah you just you just cannot so yeah unfortunately um i would love it in a size five if they did one i would love it just a little bit bigger but yeah i do love this piece um unfortunately no pockets again don't know why this is a reoccurring trend. I'm pretty sure the Levi's Type 3 jackets had pockets, but I could be wrong there. Obviously, we've got them up here, but, you know, you can't put your hands in here or anything like that, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people have complimented me on this jacket. It looks really nice when you wear an all-black fit because the indigo blue is just that, like, little bit of uh, color difference that people notice. A lot of people, even my tradie mates that are not into fashion at all, have made comments on this jacket. Like, it looks... Uh, very high end but not at the same time because of like the detailing like the fraying and stuff like that and yeah they just like people love it I love it it's a sick jacket I normally wear it over the top of a tank top in summer just because uh, you know you want that breathability in those hot days but also you know it allows for that freedom around the shoulder area because you know I don't have all that fabric with a tank top on and yeah just it's just a really nice look love this piece will continue to rock it i really want the overcoat version there's an overcoat version with the same pattern would love to pick that one up but it's selling out these days it's really hard to get hold of so yeah i would love to hear your thoughts on this guys this is piece number three the uh feather denim jacket version three let me know how you feel uh, this one this is probably my most expensive piece it cost me an arm and a leg uh, but i did buy it from a boutique and that's why it would have been astronomically cheaper if i bought it from uh their online store but you find a lot of the like uh seasonal capital country stuff that they don't constantly re uh, re-release doesn't release on their online store so i was uh, you know they they did it recently with the spring summer 2022 capital country stuff because i think they're just trying to avoid you know having big gatherings at their, uh, you know, their stores because of COVID and stuff. So they did do an online release for their, uh, their spring, summer 2022 stuff. But yeah, their previous seasons, you had to be in store or buy it from a boutique. And as you know, I don't like buying capital from boutiques because they mark it up heaps. But yeah, I bought it from the Melbourne boutique up there store. Um, they have a lovely selection of capital stuff. I think one of the few, if the only uh, Australian boutique for capital. So yeah, if you guys live in Melbourne, definitely go check it out. Uh, it, it, in store, it looks awesome. I'd love to visit it one day, but this piece is fantastic. It's got this gold to green gradient on this front quilt. I don't know if I can highlight it very well here, but you can see at the shoulders, it's very gold and then it moves to a green. Really nice little pockets here, very, very comfy. Uh, down the arms, it has this floral embroidery. We can see the details there um, done on like this. Um, it's not corduroy, but it, it, it's, it feels a bit rough. Um, maybe it's more like a, I wouldn't even know what material it is, but it does feel a little bit rough. You can see there's some texture to it as well. Uh, it's fantastic. It, 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 I love the design. I love the golden stitching all the way up the side of the piece there looks fantastic it's got a quilted interior as we can see in here awesome uh, it's got a zip pocket over the side here somewhere this is a really nice piece just to wear casually like on a sunday if i'm just you know lounging around at home but it also looks really nice over the top of like a hoodie or just over the top of a lot of things it's a really big statement piece it's it's just fantastic now on the back of it this is where we have some fun with it as well we have like the souvenir mid 20th century jacket details coming into play here where what we have is a map of japan but more specifically, 
a map of all the surfing locations in Japan. So we can see, you know, the, all the little locations here and they're all embroidered into the piece. So I'll try and bring it up. You can see they're all embroidered there. Crazy, crazy detailing. And it's got, you know, that iconic like souvenir Japanese uh, font style and design. It's just amazing. It's such an awesome piece. Um, this piece is huge as well. I picked this up in a size five, but it is like the biggest size five I've ever purchased. I, and I would buy it again. I would buy a size five again because the, it fits perfectly on me. But yeah, it, it's just amazing. Just such an awesome piece. Uh, it's called the Velveteen J-Wave Souvenir Cardigan, I think is its full name from memory. But you can go check out my unboxing video to suss that out. But yeah, just all around such an amazing piece. Would love to pick more of their souvenir stuff up. Uh, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. But we'll move on now to the final piece. And here we have the piece that everyone saw and then fell in love with the brand. <laughs> the bandana print uh, jacket. Or oh, sorry, the bandana jacket. It's not a print. So it, each of these pieces, as they are Capital Country remake pieces, each of the print, uh, sorry, I keep saying prints, but each of the designs, each of the bandana um, patchwork designs here are all different. You'll find them, uh, you know, different from each other. I haven't seen one that's the same. Uh, I've, I found one that was close to this, but then the sleeves had a different bandana print. So yeah, if you really want a specific print, I would definitely buy that one if you see it because you have a hard time finding another one that looks exactly like it. Uh, it's a very cropped piece as it's based on the Levi's uh, Type 1 denim jacket, which is a very cropped piece. Um, you can see the pleated detailing around the button area, just like a Type 1 Levi's jacket. I mean, it's literally like mimicking it exactly. Like you go look up Levi's Type 1 denim jacket and that's the exact design. Um, it does also have a cinch at the back as well, like the um, Type 1 Levi's jacket. See, there you go there. There's the little, little cinch detailing there. Uh, I really like this color. The... I think I call it, it's like burgundy, but on their website, when it translates, it says N-G-E-N-J-I. Uh, yeah, I really like the color. It just stands out. I, I would love to, I should wear this more in summer, but um, the problem is, is that it's just super cropped and um, I need to get more body confident to be able to rock something like this just because of how cropped it is and, you know, the way it fits and everything like that. And I'd love to be a little bit thinner to rock it. But yeah, I've got it in its biggest size, the size five. The only difference between a size four and a five is the width. Um, this is a really small jacket, like really small when you think in size five or a jacket. I would definitely recommend checking out the measurements for it on their website before picking it up. And that's exactly what I did to determine I was a size five. But even a size five is a bit small on me. But yeah, I uh, love wearing this over the top of a tank top, just like my uh, feather denim jacket. And I would love to pick up other colors in it. The problem is it's just, it's a bit expensive and the opportunity cost of paying that price, I could buy, you know, a different capital piece instead of this one. Uh, yeah, that's just why I haven't collected all the colors or all the other colors that I at least want, but I really love it. It's a solid piece. It's such a, it's a conversation starter. Like a lot of people see this and they're like, yo, and then yeah, just absolutely love it. So yeah, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it guys, or any of the pieces in my collection. Uh, do you like any of them? I've kind of just created a big old pile over here of capital, <laughs> but do you like it, guys? What's your favorite piece in the collection? Do you own any of the pieces? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. But that's it, guys. Uh, that is my entire Capital Collection at the moment. Hopefully, I will add more further down the line. Uh, I've talked about many pieces that I want to pick up in the pickups videos that I've done about Capital. So definitely go check out the pickups videos if you want to check out pieces that I want to pick up uh, from Capital in the future. Um, I still feel the same way about all those pieces. Yeah, there's so many sick pieces I want to pick up from them. Uh, Luca also asked for a new, another one and eventually I'll get around to that one. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a fantastic brand. The work that they do, the pieces they have, it's awesome. Uh, I wish some of them were more size friendly for the big old, I guess, fat Westerners out here <laughs> in the land down under. But yeah, no, it's some awesome pieces. I love so many more of their jackets, but pricey. 
you know, it's, it's all that opportunity cost. If I buy a capital piece, I miss out on these, like, Chrome Hearts pieces, I miss out on these undercover pieces. Just don't have enough money for the clothing addiction that I have. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's something. But uh, hopefully, hopefully picking up something soon. But I'd love to hear from you guys. How do you feel about the brand? What do you think of my collection? Uh, what are some pieces you're looking to pick up from Capital in the future? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to do more showcase videos, you can give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all that you can give me, if you haven't already, is obviously a subscribe to the channel. Uh, and now, as mentioned at the start of this video, guys, we're aiming for a new subscriber milestone of 3375 before the end of June. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's all I gotta say about this collection, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to showcase another collection to you. I can definitely do that for you. But until the next showcase video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next capital video in general, I'll catch you later. <laughs>